And that's going to be something to watch because the forecast models actually bring that plume of Saharan dust and sand all the way into the Caribbean, if not up into the eastern Gulf of Mexico as we head into the middle of next week. So we may be working with a little bit of that desert dust and sand from Africa in our atmosphere later on next week. So here's the thing, though. You're probably saying, Grant, what, what, what does that matter? What does that have to do with the tropics? This is your tropics hit. It actually has a big part to do in the development, or maybe lack thereof, of tropical storms and hurricanes. If you've got a minute this morning, let me explain. So I'm going to show you a cross-section of a healthy hurricane here. And what a hurricane or even a tropical storm really needs is one, warm ocean water. That's the fuel to give these storms uh, enough energy to develop. But you also need a very warm and moist atmosphere from the ocean surface all the way through the column of the atmosphere. And then you also need minimal wind shear in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere for that storm to really develop and become a mature tropical system. When you introduce Saharan dust or that dry air associated with that Saharan dust, that dry air suppresses the cloud development, much less the thunderstorm development that would ultimately allow a tropical system to develop. That combined with that Saharan dust comes with a surge of air and that ultimately acts as wind shear and it rips apart those developing tropical systems. So as we go into June, July and August, we do typically watch these plumes of African dust come off of the African continent. And that's something to keep a close eye on because that could ultimately inhibit the development of tropical systems. But if it makes it all the way across the Atlantic into the eastern Gulf of Mexico, we can get some pretty awesome sunrises and sunsets. This is video of some uh, sunrise and sunsets from last year right here in Tampa Bay around this time. So as we track that Saharan dust across the Atlantic by mid next week, look for the potential for some really pretty sunrises and sunsets here in Tampa Bay.